Hello guys, in this video I will talk about the W16 engine. To support our channel and see more content similar to this one, you can subscribe and like the video before continuing. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Let's move on. The topic of this day will be the 8-liter, 16-cylinder W16 engine produced by the Volkswagen Group used in Bugatti, which produces over 1,500 horsepower of 8 liters, and the technical characteristics of how the engine works, what they fit into this huge engine in that vehicle. The Volkswagen Group has been producing this W16 engine for the Bugatti brand since 2005. As you all know, Bugatti is a brand that produces Veyron and Chiron vehicles. And this W16 engine was used in Veyron and Chiron vehicles. It's a mind-boggling engine when you look at it. An incredibly large engine with a volume of 8 liters. It has 4 camshafts and 4 turbos. The reason why it is called W16 is that it is actually an engine created by combining two V8 engines meeting at a 90 degree angle and turning a single crankshaft. In the version used in the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus model, it produces 1578 horsepower at 7000 revolutions per minute. That's an incredible number. It sounds crazy when you think about it like that, and as far as I'm concerned, it's a really crazy engine. Let's dive into the technical depths of this engine. When you think of a 90 degree V8 engine, American muscle vehicles always come to mind. I'm talking about those muscular, powerful, big, bulky American engines used in the old Mustangs and Challengers. When you look at those engines, there are four cylinders on one side, four cylinders on the other. You might also think that they come together at 90 degrees, turn a single crankshaft and transfer power to the wheels in this way. When we look at W16, it's actually the same logic. There are two sides that converge at 90 degrees. The only difference is that they used 8 plus 8 cylinders instead of 4 plus 4, and of course I think you've never heard of such a thing as a sequential 8 in your life. Because it takes up an incredibly large amount of space and it is very difficult to fit an inline 8-cylinder into any car. Volkswagen engineers were looking for a way to solve this problem, and on the way they found to solve this issue, they said that instead of making a V16 out of a row of 8 plus 8, we would combine two V8s and make a W16. In this way, Volkswagen engineers said, our space constraints would be reduced and we would have a 16-cylinder engine. When we have this, you need to put four turbos in this vehicle. This is truly a fantastic situation. Each side has two turbos that power eight cylinders on the left and right. In fact, this could have been used with one large turbo instead of two turbos, but it was preferred to use two small turbos to both increase throttle response and reduce turbo lag. I mean small compared to that big giant turbo. None of these four turbos are larger than the turbos in vehicles of today. To open a small parenthesis, maybe you know Volkswagen has been using VR6, a legendary engine, in the sedans and hatchbags it has produced for years, especially in golf vehicles. This legendary little giant, used as a V6 engine in a single engine block, has a volume of 3.2 liters. There are six cylinders in this engine. Going back to our topic, the W16 engine has the same operating principle as this engine. The only difference is that Volkswagen made the VR8 by adding two more cylinders to this block instead of six cylinders and making the block a little longer. Volkswagen has combined these two VR8s and turned them into W16. Therefore, when you consider VR6 and W16 separately, you will see that they actually work on the same principle. There is a fresh air inlet from one side and an exhaust outlet from one side. The exhaust gas coming out of this single side feeds two turbos. These two turbos also provide air to half of the engine. When you multiply these numbers by two with simple mathematics, we get the W16 engine. When you look at the advantages, of course the biggest advantage is more power and a more balanced engine. When it has 16 cylinders, the engine works very balancedly. It can also produce very high amounts of power. Another advantage is that it takes up much less space than an inline 16 cylinder engine. In fact, it has a volume close to a standard V12. We can think that AW16 fits into a V12 engine volume. 
When you look at the disadvantages, it is very high cost and very complex structure. What I mean by complex structure is that this engine has 64 valves, 4 camshafts, 4 turbos, 2 intercoolers, 16 cylinders, 16 pistons, etc. Therefore, such a complex structure needs to be designed very well in order to work well. Of course, this increases the cost. Additionally, when so many parts are used, of course its weight becomes a disadvantage. Coming together of all these parts brings this engine to over 400 kilograms. But as you know, Bugatti is the brand where the Volkswagen Group tries to show all its skills and technology, so it spared no expense or effort and made a show of its strength with the W16 engine. By producing this monster at high cost and with advanced technology, Volkswagen has declared to everyone that it can do this. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on this subject? You can comment your thoughts below, like the video and subscribe to our channel to support our channel and watch more content like this.